Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Blessings to you, this is Prophet Isaac Amata, 26th day in the month of April. 2023 <laughs> very deep revelation message to the nation of zambia this video is going to dispel all the confusion that people have about me as regarding the current president of zambia akainde chilema also known as hh what is the mindset of the prophet azikamata towards the current president a lot of people have this perception that oh the prophet amata hates this man Mm. but let us see a lot of online posts have been going around on facebook you say oh the prophet said this man will die he's going to go into the coffin the prophet is, is tormenting him I, I, the, I, the prophet says he's tormenting him let us three questions in the mind of people right now number one why don't you support each each mm, that's number one number two what was the mistake of ECL and the aftermath? Number three, what do you see happening in Zambia before 2026 and after 2026? Number four, are you still coming to Zambia now? <laughs> now, three reasons why I am not supporting HH. It's not personal. I don't personalize my prophecy. I stand where God stands. Five years ago, I stand where God stands. Four years ago, I, one year, even to today, I stand. Once I know the mind of God, I put my all, my all. Because one with God is majority. God does not move with crowd. Three reasons why I'm not supporting him. Number one, is the soul of David. Is the soul of Zambia, not a David. First Samuel chapter 8. Remember what God said in 1 Samuel chapter 8 is verse 7. And the Lord said to Samuel, listen to the voice of the people, give them what they want. They have rejected me, not you. So in 2021, the Lord told me, I'm going to give the people of Zambia what they want, just like what they wanted in Nigeria. What did they want in Nigeria? They said somebody told them. Now the current president of Nigeria, on a personal note, is somebody I've always liked because of his anti-corruption attitude, lifestyle, simple and whatever. So personally, I liked him. But liking somebody does not mean the mind of God, the choice of God. Choice of God is supreme. So Israel wanted a, a, a soul and God said that this is going to be the problem if you take this man and they said yes even with all this problem give us so God gave him now the man came and said we are going to give you change and God told me in Nigeria he said chains the same thing in Zambia when that time they said the change is coming God said no it's not the change it's a chains now three months after the and when they did the election in Nigeria I did not vote for the Buhari even though I liked him personally, I went the mind of God, I voted for Jonathan. But you know, the black backlash, a prophet received backlash when you stand with God. Jeremiah, he was told by God that they're going to imprison him, put him in a well. And you remember, Jeremiah was prophet to the nations, Daniel prophet to the nation. Ezekiel prophesied to nations. So I don't understand what people think. They say, don't talk about all your, your other nation. Talk about only your own. No, I differ with you. You don't know the prophetic. You don't know prophetic. I spoke about my nation. Backlash. They cost me. They abused me. I went to South Africa. The Lord said, don't worry. Shh. You, they will see with their eyes. Not immediately. When the honeymoon of a marriage is over, eyes open. So it happened. The eyes opened in Nigeria. And they begin to see. When you put a soul in power the second thing happens there is no grace psalm 127 verse 1 except the lord build the house the builder build it in vain except the lord watch over a city the watchman watch it in vain so what you have is when you put a soul there's what you come you begin to see consequence one 
you watch it in vain you build it in vain no grace economic decline is the first problem you start to see things begin to go back if things were good before it start going back bad it happened in nigeria it's happening in zambia why not the person but because the person does not is not chosen and if it's not chosen there is no grace there is no what man no grace no grace is there the grace is one that support the foundation for things to work who is the david of zambia edgar chagualungu before and now is still the one so number three spiritual foundation was affected everything collapsed spiritually it collapsed in, them, in nigeria now when you speak the man of god you end up being alone in nigeria for four three five months everybody attacked me attacked me but now when they started seeing things they started coming back to me oh what is the way forward even as i i was praying where many people were on the mountain many pastors were on the mountain praying for nigeria to be redeemed god told me they're wasting their time the same thing is going on in zambia why are they wasting their time because i'm not there 10,000 people can pray if God is not involved nothing can increase for betterment things decline you cannot force God to, to accept whom he did not choose you cannot force God to bless what is not blessed it can't work he said in 1 Samuel chapter 15 I have rejected Saul so the Lord rejected the one in Nigeria not because he doesn't have a good personality but he's not chosen you don't understand the ministry mystery of choosing mystery of chosen means there is a special grace from heaven if it's not there it's not there mystery of chosen means even if there's challenges you will scale through because you need grace to su 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 succeed in personal life family life business life and government leadership so that is where the problem is now in Zambia. No grace. Why God did not put that man there? Cost me whatever you want to cost me, but that is your own problem. I'm telling you because you will be seeing this thing going on and you keep on seeing it. Mealy meal, medicine, all area, electricity will be going to be declining because the grace is not there. Famine impute de decline. So now what are what the prophet saying? The prophet is saying that uh, the, the spiritual foundation is not has been dis damaged by that mis that decision that you people make so we, in Nigeria time many people called me let's go and pray let's go and do rally, prayer rally for the president I said no I'm not going I want to see it here I don't prophesy for money even when the former president was the Edgar Chagwalu I never took one quacha if you say I took come out and if I have taken, you would have put it on your coastway, put it on your Zambia watchdog. You would have put it on your Zambia post. The way you are putting now, lies and fabrication. The prophet said the HH will die. The prophet said HH, I'm tormenting him. Where is the video? Bring it. What I said is not chosen. Chosen does not mean is I said he's going to die. Chosen is not chosen does not mean I said I'm no. I told you when you make a wrong choice there's consequence of the choice that is what you are seeing when the house is not built by the lord the, the house begin to collapse that's nothing to do with anything that you about the prophet is choice of your your choice so now the former the, uh, if you bring ten thousand pull and say come and pray i will not come i will not hold any prayers because god is not there don't pray when god is not there you are wasting your time if when Samuel was praying for Saul, God told him, stop, I've rejected this man. So, number three, the Lord, have, the Lord has rejected the one that is there. He said, I rejected him because I did not appoint him. So, I go to question number two. What was the mistake of Edgar? The mistake of Edgar was he moved, he was, a, he was chosen, but he carried Green Snake's advisor. And some of one, two, three ministers, they are green snakes, but majorly green snakes advisor. The chief of them is Dr. Mitty. And working in hand with Roland Musiska, who was the uh, chief uh, cabinet secretary. Now, I don't go to president. 
You say, but you don't go to prison, but we saw you go to a state house trying to see Edgar. Uh, yes, I go. I, when God sent me with a message, remember God sent the, the prophet Nathan to go and give message to David. He sent prophet Samuel to go and anoint. So when God have a message, you go. But we don't go and look because we need something. No, I don't take anything from anybody. I've never met ECL. I've never taken any money from him. I only went there to warn him that there are great snakes in your cabinet administration that are going to wreck your house. So they, they blocked me because they know when I I know all of them. I know all of them who were the snakes. They know if I see the man, I'm going to expose them. So they blocked me. I remember the last time I was at State House, I used my money, not funded by the government, because when God sends you, you don't take money from anybody. You go under the provision of the Lord. I am not a beggar. I don't need any money from any prophet or any, any, any president. When you start collecting money from a leader or politician, your prophecy will be corrupted. The Lord told me never take money from them. Go and say as I say. And uh, Jeremiah do what God tell them to do. Ezekiel do. And they prophesy to nations. Prophets prophesy to nations. Jeremiah prophesy to nations, not only to his nation. The same thing with Daniel. The same thing with Ezekiel. For those of you that say, speak only about your nation. No, prophets are not, they are not restricted to their nation. I will keep speaking. So, I called when I got there the third time. I didn't want to go again. I make a phone call. They put me through. I said, Who is this? He said, Oh, it's Dr. Mitty. I want to see the president. I want to tell him some things. You know. Say, okay, uh, come back next week. I went back, they, they block it. Because he was the chief green snake, was planning to destroy him. After destroying him, he jump ship and move to the other side. You know what happened to Roland Musiska? I told him on the phone, I said, sir, you are, you are, de, 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 you, are you don't, I should, oh, judgment has started though. Be careful, you are going to see fire. Don't play with, you are, I want to give a message. Okay. The Lord said, can you see, it's among the snakes. Some of them have been, you know, flushed out. So God used that experience to open the eyes of the one that is the David of Zambia. It's still the David. Because if you have not seen, you will not know the two mistakes he had was he carried green snakes and did not fire them when I was warning. I kept warning on the Facebook, he did not fire them. And two, he carried cadres that, you know, they overwhelmed the administration. If you are going to go to the airport, you line up a lot of people, they'll be singing and dancing. You know how much it takes to carry people to line up and sing and dance. I don't know. You look at the UK. You look at the USA. You look at you know. It's only in the, it's only in Africa, but in that one, it was too much. You want to go out, you carry a lot of people. They line up, they sing, they dance. You know, it's taxpayers' money that is going. And then some of these cadres were you know holding the people to ransom. Apart from these two areas, he, he was he did well. Agriculture, fertilizer, farming input, all these areas medicine infrastructure airport building road building school be he did well but that two area green snakes advisor he refused to fire even when he found that some of them were devils he kept he still kept them and they, they finish him and jump ship and they the cadres if you can handle these two area because it's, it's going to come back again i'll talk about that now very soon what do you see before 2026 and after the return of Edgar Chagualugu is imminent. Before the election, the cry for him will increase because things will get bad. I'm telling you, it's going to get bad because the grace is not there. The person who is there is not the chosen one. The person who is there is the is Saul. And you can't build the house according to Psalm 127 if God does not build. So what happened in Nigeria is going to the same thing is similar. So things begin to decline in Nigeria. Now in Nigeria, the man that is there, current president Buari, is about to go. Nigerians cannot wait for him to go. Mm, can't wait. Eight years they have seen it full force. <laughs> <laughs> Those that were cursing me, they don't curse me again. When I move on the street, they oh prophet, you said it. Oh, the same thing. It's also started happening in Zambia. Those who were cursing me that time, when I told them, I said after the election you will see. No, they have started seeing that they will change. Is chains. Change is chains. How do you know economy begin to have decline? Millimill decline. 
uh, electricity decline many areas things become tough 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 sir tough ma mm. so it's going to come back because people are going to put pressure and i want to say to the former ruling party don't make a mistake and say we don't want we, we, we go for somebody else if you miss this edgar you will not come back if it, and, and then if anybody saying edgar cannot come back he cannot rule we is not going to happen you are not god there's a god who sits in heaven who is speaking you see when we speak prophecy we don't speak for now we speak about the end we see the end and that is why if you like cost me for now tomorrow i stand my ground if you discover carefully about me i'm among the few prophets don't i don't shift if i know that this is the will of god no matter what you say about me i stand you may cost me i don't get offended offense is not there because i stand with the will of god some people may think oh he hates no i have nothing against a kind of chilema he's a personally a good businessman technocrat but he's not chosen that's just it and people misinterpret it as hatred must i must i stand with somebody that god did not stand no i have to stand with the mind of god standing with the will of god made them to put jeremiah in the way in the prison in the in the prison in the prison you don't understand they put him in the prison eh? so now question number four are you coming back to zambia not now you know after the election in nigeria many people were praying 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 some pastors were going to the mountain i saw them or god showed me them say they're wasting their time even if ten thousand go and pray no change no nigeria is not the economy will not improve because when i am not there psalm 127 is spiritual everything will not nothing will work when i did not approve a point it cannot work so i told them they were calling me let's go and see let's go and pray let's go and do rally for this i said i'm not coming if you like bring 100 million naira i won't come so if you invite me and say come to zambia come and pray i won't come i'm a man of principle you don't know no you don't know prophet amata oh no you don't know me i have i stand with god one with god is majority if god is standing i stand with him no person can tell me that in zambia that i collected money from edgar to prophesy for him for him 2016 not me i never took money three times i went there because god told me go if god did not tell me to go i continue to speak on my facebook it's going to go everywhere i don't go to people like that i don't go i stay in my home so money does not influence my prophecy if you say come to zambia now okay come and pray pray what i can't come in fact i can't even sit down there with him not having anything against him but you remember first samuel 15 15 the lord said to samuel i rejected saul and you know saul samuel never saw saul until david entered into a seat of authority that is how spiritual principle work we don't go where god did not allow us to go even if every other person is going listen to me all different pastors prophet can be going they can even be going to be praying for the leader but if god is not there the prayer is in vain you don't understand Ten thousand people can gather and be praying let things get better but you have made a mistake from the beginning by choosing and god said in first samuel 8 this is the soul this is what is going to happen if you take this man the people say give us and god allow it so god gave you what you want then you should be ready for the consequence that the consequences things begin to decline meaning me everything start going if it was fairly okay before then begins to go down so edgar is coming back and uh, the mistakes two mistakes he made was he took wrong advisors and he carried cadres this are the problem the greatest sneak that was in his cabinet was dr mitty dr mitty and he blocked me and jumped to the other side when he finished his assignment he jumped ship so that god permitted this one that is the david his eyes have opened he have seen he have seen very well and this kada issue lining up people 
going to the airport you want to travel out you line up people you want to go to marriage you line up people they say waste of money stop it you don't need all this Just deliver for the people very simple all this control of kada controlling market controlling uh, uh, boss ranks controlling inflicting people close it don't make the same mistakes the next time sir god is giving you a second chance forget about what anybody is saying that you can never who is that person telling you saying that the prophet is a who spoke about nigeria who spoke about the arrest i told you recently a former president international professor will be arrested and i knew and i trump was arrested and i told i'm still telling you despite that he's still going to be the candidate for the republican party a moving train cannot be stopped it may be hindered delayed but can't be stopped so that is for that it's going to contest for 20 it's going to come back uh, because the grace is there that is why the former ruling party must not make a mistake and say we want to know let god have started the house through him he want to finish it this is going to be finished so i'm not going to come to zambia now because why what am i coming for say come and pray for him what am i coming to pray when god is not involved i don't just go like that go like this some of them some people will not be saying we don't even want you to come no it does not matter if i want to come or not i don't even need to come you will be seeing it a time is coming you will tell papa ah if we have listened to you but it's already you have made the mistake so 2026 don't make the same mistake eh don't make it when prophets speak not speaking because of what they have collected or what they benefit the mind of God have nothing to do with benefit. You just Jeremiah speak whether it's pleasant or not pleasant. You speak it whether they curse us or they don't curse us. We speak it. We speak it directly without fear of evil. So keep praying for your nation, Zambia. Uh, what do you pray? You pray for God to give you the people the grace to go through the the the, the, the consequent the, the the hard times. No, you have to pray because nothing is going to improve because you have make a wrong mistake in nigeria they pray 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 let things get better let it didn't get better because you have gone against the will of god so you have to pray for grace to go through this situation so the same thing you have to pray for grace in zambia so not personal i have nothing against the current leader i'm just telling you the mind of god i'm standing on god's side i don't hold bitterness with anybody I don't speak personal prophecy, personalized prophecy. I speak the mind of God. So these are the three reasons why I'm not in support of that current leader. Because God, the Lord said, number one, I did not choose him. He's a soul. Number two, uh, he's not the one, he's not the David. Number three, there's no, I, my grace is not with him. Number, number three, spiritual foundation will be affected. So uh, I don't want to speak too much about spiritual foundation, but I'm going to talk about it. In, in the nearby future but certain things will begin to be exposed on this issue of spiritual foundation so a lot of things are going on in the nation accidents uh, many things pray for your nation of zambia a lot of accident too much accident too much accident suicide pray because when the foundation spiritually is affected many things begin to go wrong one of the things that begin to go wrong is when the grace is no more there it is that grace that stops a lot of things not to happen that grace you know is not that we don't have things like that happening in the former time but it's become more frequent and uh, but i will speak more about it that is a separate video and we keep on praying for god mercy so what do you do in Zambia? Pray for mercy. The same way they are praying for Nigeria. Pray for mercy. Mercy. Don't be proud. Don't resort to start name calling, accusing the prophet. You just make your, you are not going to solve your problem. The only thing you need to pray, oh God, we make a mistake. Mercy. As far as God is concerned, you chose your own. In Nigeria, you chose your own. So you pray for mercy. When you go wrong, you don't curse. You don't attack. You pray for mercy and grace to pass through it. You are going to have to pass through it. Keep sharing this video all over Zambia. 
and shalom shalom very lengthy but i have to answer these three point questions remain blessed all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of mutatim pondum i love you peace i gotta go